to the White House today for this special event honoring Americans in recovery and the incredible organizations that support them. I'm grateful to our Office of National Drug Control Policy and to Director Jim Carroll, thank you, for organizing this important discussion. I'm also glad to be joined today by Larry Cudlow, Director of the United States Economic Council. Thank you. And our Surgeon General, Jerome Adams. Hello. Before I get started, I would also like to thank Catherine Burgum, the First Lady of North Dakota. Thank you for joining us today. As well as Patty McCarty, the CEO of FACES and Voices of Recovery, whose organization is playing a key role throughout September commemorating Recovery Month around the United States. Today, we are here to highlight two important themes in recovery, the power of recovery tools and resources in the workplace, and the role personal connection to others plays in achieving sobriety. These themes are also shared in my Be Best initiative, which promotes healthy relationships, strong families, and supporting the people and programs in our communities that give children their best chance to succeed. Finding solutions to our nation's drug problem has always been something I've cared deeply about, especially when it comes to its negative effects on children and families. In my time as First Lady, I have traveled to hospitals and rehabilitation centers around the country and have seen the devastating results of drug abuse and addiction. I have learned that addiction and drug abuse are universal issues that do not discriminate based on income, age, race, or wherever you live. I believe that promoting education and awareness on this issue is critical to overcoming this terrible trend, which is why I'm joining you here today. The coronavirus pandemic has increased feelings of loneliness and sadness. For vulnerable populations, it has also increased the risk of substance abuse. But the American people are strong and always set up to help one another in times of need. My husband and this administration are also committed to making sure no one is left behind and forgotten men and women are not forgotten no more. The guests we have with us today are shining examples of how we can uplift our communities. Businesses, large and small, are represented at this event. Each of them share a commitment and understanding that economic empowerment and the feeling of purpose play an important role in creating sustained sobriety. These are the facts of recovery at work, and I'm inspired by each of your stories. You are not just job creators, you empower the human spirit. I want to thank all of you again for your outstanding work in making our communities a much stronger and accepting place for all Americans. Thank you very much. And now I would like to turn back over to Director Carroll. Thank you.